Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the drama player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we go to search on your device and here in the search bar, start typing the loader. And as you can see, there was even no need to enter whole name of the app because the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We'll still have to set it up. So in order to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings and let's do it right now. So we click on that button with the gear icon Scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And here we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Go to About, select Fire TV Stick. And now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So make sure to open them. And then you'll have to turn on the ADB debugging. Yep. We're good to go now, so go to install known apps. From here, make sure to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, and there you'll find the loader which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before using the loader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, we just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Latvia right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally let's use the loader safely. So we open the loader application, which is right here. On the left side menu, make sure to click on home, not on browser, click on home. And then here in the search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you'll have to click on go, and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot, and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has opened, we just have to scroll down a bit until we see a media players category. So we gotta click on it, and then a huge list of apps is going to appear, which we have to scroll down until you find the drama player, which is right here. So let's click on it, then an ad might pop up for you. If it does pop up, don't worry, and just click on X or on close to close down the ad. 
In my case, I have to click on X. So we click on it, and now a new web page should open for us. Yeah, there it is. And we also have to scroll down. So keep scrolling until we see that little download button right here. Here it is. Now we need to click on it, click on it, and wait until the download starts. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then click on install and wait until Drama Player gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you're using. And then don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary installation files from the Fire Stick and save you some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't have too much of free space on your device by default anyway. And now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, open it, wait until it loads for you, then scroll down, and here at the bottom you'll find Drama Player, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, Drama Player is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.